see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies over men's noses as they lie asleep. A chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner, squirrel, or old grub. Time out of mind the fairies' coachmakers. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, her traces of the smallest spider's web, her collars of the moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, her wagoner, a small grey-coated gnat, not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maiden. And in this state she gallops, night by night, through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. Or ladies' lips, who straight on kisses dream, which oft the angry mab with blisters plagues, because their breaths with sweet meats tainted are. Sometimes she driveth o'er a soldier's neck, and then dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of breeches, and bascados, Spanish blades, or healths five fathom deep, and then anon drums in his ear, at which he starts and wakes, and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two, and sleeps again. This is the very map that plats the manes of horses in the night, and bakes the elf locks in foul, slattish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune. This is the hag, when maids lie on their backs, that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is 